Humans have always built bridges to get to the other side. But what if a bridge were the destination? What if we thought of a bridge as land? This is a timely question as America is set to spend billions on renewing and reinventing our infrastructure, and there are so many unused railroad bridges across the country. In central Kansas City, a small team of social entrepreneurs is making land on the former Rock Island Railroad Bridge over the Kansas River. They're expanding the footprint of this robust 1905 structure with cantilever extensions, attaching an upper deck, and bringing out utilities to create some 35,000 square feet of usable space. And they're using it in surprising ways to create America's first destination landmark bridge. A fancy name for these efforts is infrastructure renewal. It's a growing movement, with examples including the celebrated New York City High Line, Navy Pier in Chicago, and the Atlanta Belt Line. Whichever case you look at, these projects generate enormous pride for their community, drive economic development, and reinvigorate entire quarters of their cities. There are also green initiatives that reuse existing materials. In this case, that means repurposing the Rock Island Bridge's 3 million pounds of steel. And besides all that good stuff, these projects are just fun because reinvention forces creativity. When finished in 2024, the bridge will link 17 miles of levee top trails on both sides of the river and unite the two Kansas cities across the Missouri-Kansas state line. But they're taking this bridge beyond the familiar rails to trails connection. The bridge will also host trailhead services such as restrooms, water fountains, and public seating for hundreds. Two thirds of this new land will be public gathering space for farmers markets and family picnics. The bridge is also home to a full on entertainment district with a restaurant, coffee shops and bars, retail and space for concerts. The upper deck will host an event space with an open air veranda. But what does this mean for the overlooked Kansas River? There's an expression that energy follows attention. And even though the bridge is still under construction, the fact that some 500,000 people a year will soon be enjoying the river views is already activating the area. A local outrigger has announced plans to rent and launch kayaks and canoes from a riverboat anchored at the shore. The city is designing a riverfront park with trails down to long floating docks on both sides. River facing apartments are already under construction and the Rock Island Bridge is the keystone for it all. A vibrant, welcoming steel park over a river. Taken together, this is starting a long overdue rebranding of the Kansas River from a 19th century industrial river to a 21st century recreational waterway. Bringing along all that has meant for other cities like Austin, Wichita, and more recently, Oklahoma City. New city signage calls it the Kansas waterfront. So, aside from the bridges land thing being a new idea, why hasn't this been done before? Well, it's because infrastructure renewal projects are expensive, often too expensive for philanthropy or local governments to pull off a loan. So, to get it done in Kansas City, they're taking a barn-raising approach, calling it a P4, a public-private philanthropic partnership with help from local companies too, they're achieving what no individual sector could achieve alone. The Rock Island CEO says they are hacking capitalism because in addition to activating the bridge as a new kind of town square, the bridge-based enterprises will generate the revenue needed to repay the local government and private investors with dividends and fund maintenance of the new public crossing and trailhead services while transforming a blighted structure into a community building landmark that activates their urban river. With all that, the Rock Island Bridge is writing a blueprint for significant infrastructure renewal projects across America. Learn more, including how to invest or donate at rockislandkc.com.